Greetings from the morning, everyone. We're playing Buckshot Roulette today, you know, as you can see. Um, before we get started with this video, I just want to warn that this game has a lot of dark themes, um, including like various uses of guns and consumption of like addictive substances, um, and mild body horror and some gore. Uh, so if any of that might bother you, I would consider being wary or maybe even clicking off. Um, you know, I've been trying to figure out how to go over everything, because there's a lot of things that could bother some people. But um, I'm just going to say that this is a very dark game, and it has a lot of themes like that. So, yeah. It also kind of takes place in like a in a legal feeling environment, I guess. It kind of feels kind of underground, which you'll see in a second. But um, if any of that bothers you, then, you know, I would consider clicking off. But if not, then let's continue on in. This game isn't hyper-realistic, but it, it, it does have these sort of creepy... A dingy graphics, I guess. I don't know. Kind of darker. Also, I want to apologize if my uh, voice is off. I'm a little bit sick right now. Nothing too bad, but, you know. And I still wanted to record a video today. Anyway, listen to that rave music. And there's just a dude there. I don't think we can interact with him. But let's keep moving. And get into the game. Please sign the waiver. So, let's just pick that up, and we're gonna just put in... Uh, it's a max of six characters, I think. Yeah, so, what we're gonna do is just put in, like, Jade. That's the simplest thing, I think. So, we're on the first round, and you can see there's one live and two blanks in the shotgun. And they're just gonna go in randomly. We don't know which one's in there currently. And over here, you can see there are two, uh, well, like two health, I guess, because I can't really say lives, but um, two health uh, each. And so uh, I can use a shotgun. And this is kind of where I wanna warn that I can use it on the dealer or myself. So if either of those bother you, there's going to be a lot of that. But, uh, so you know. But, uh, point is, I can either use it on, well, I can use the shotgun, and if it has a live round, then whoever I use it on takes one damage. But if I use a blank and I use it on the dealer, then nothing happens, and it's the dealer's turn. And then if I use it on myself and it has a blank, then it's my turn again. So because there's one live and two dealers, <laughs> two dealers, so because there's one live and two blanks, um, I'm going to take the chance and assume that it's probably a blank. That was unfortunate. But I got revitalized, and we're going back in now. So now there's two blanks, so the dealer is going to probably just use both of those pretty simply. And then we're going to move on to the next round in a second. So now there's three lives and two blanks. I'm sure you can see where this is going. This is going to repeat again. But with these new events. So because there's five total and three of them are alive, I'm just gonna assume that the dealer will okay. That's really bad. I might lose actually here. Because there's a blank, nothing happened, and now I lost. <laughs> That's funny. That happens sometimes. You lucky, it left you the charge, get up. 
Jade, the night is young. Okay, cool. Out of my face, dude. Look who you are. Uh, something I didn't cover, actually, and I think it's good that he came back here, is that uh, you might have noticed before there was like a little bottle of pills uh, on the counter here. If you click on that before the game starts, you can access like a secondary mode, I guess. It's a little bit more uh, uh, randomized. Uh, I'm not doing that for this video, obviously, because I don't want to... You know, I'm just trying to show what the normal game is like. Um, but I have been playing with that mode recently, so, yeah. Anyway, he's saying welcome back. We're back on round one. So, it's gonna repeat like last time. In the other mode, it's pretty much random how many of each are in the shotgun, but uh, for now, we just still have one live shell and two round shells. Uh, two, two blank shells, I keep misspeaking. Um, anyway, so again, I'm gonna take the chance because odds are it's not the live. Then, now that now it's 50-50, I would rather take the 50-50 on that guy. And we're lucky. Let's go. Oh, and because it was a live against him, now it's his turn, and he's gonna use that on himself. So I'm sure you can get the general feel of how this game works, although there will be an introduction to something after this round, which should hopefully come to an end in just a few moments. Because 3 out of 5, 60%, you know. And this is pretty much all the gore that you're probably gonna see. Uh, some blood splatters, so, yeah. I know I'm focusing a lot on, like, warning, but I just think it's important to try and make sure that nobody is, um, really uncomfortable, and, uh, yeah. But now, so now, we have an introduction. So we're gonna start getting items every time the shotgun gets new shells. So this is beer, and I'll show what that does in a second. And these are cigarettes, and I'll show what that does in a second. Okay, so there's one live and one blank, as you can see. So, starting with the beer, which is actually something I will probably use here, is that you rack the shotgun. I don't know what that means, I'm not a gun person, but I, it just ejects one shell. Um, and nothing happens, and you can do your turn still. So it just gets rid of whichever one's in there currently. The cigarette will, um, regain one health, or charge. I'm gonna use the beer here, so that way if it gets rid of the live, then I know it's a blank, and if it gets rid of the blank, now I know it's alive. So I can just go ahead and use it on the dealer. It's like a really safe way to go about things, although... I don't use it too much in a lot of circumstances. But now we're gonna get more items, maybe some different ones. Handcuff, and the general release of liability from God. Uh, my favorite item, actually. No, I don't- I think that's just kind of a bit. Uh, but... Oh, well, the dealer got some of the items that I was hoping to see on my end table, but handcuffs is, um... Whenever I do something that would usually end my turn, it doesn't one time. So if I use a live at all, it doesn't end my turn. And if I use a blank on him, it doesn't end my turn. And then after the second time where something would end my turn, it's just his turn. Uh, magnifying glass shows you what's in the shotgun right then. And this like saw is that you can saw off the shotgun and it does double damage if it's alive. So, um, what I'm gonna do is I like using items a lot, so I'm just gonna handcuff. I'm just gonna use as much as I can, and he's handcuffed. Now, I think it was two of each. So I'm gonna use the beer and try to get the chances one side. I'm really hoping it gets rid of a blank. And then, uh, go ahead and use that. 
Boom. Perfect. Now it's a 50-50 chance, right? So I can... I can either use that on myself, and 50% chance to take damage, 50% I can do damage to him. Or I can use it on him, 50% chance he takes damage, 50% chance nothing. I think. Uh, so I'm gonna use it on him, because I want to avoid damage as much as I can. Ah, uh, that sucks. So now it's his turn, and he's probably gonna use a lot of items. Like both the cigarettes, which will put him back at full health. So in case if you're wondering, the reason why I'm not using my cigarette is because I can't go above the starting amount, so I'm not going to use it. And I'm going to take two damage, and then I will use it, actually. But, you see, we're good now. Um... Alright, let's see. Beer and handcuff. Uh, I keep getting the same items. Right, three and two. Great. First of all, we're going to use a cigarette. Then we're going to use a handcuff. Then we're going to hope that that's a live round. Dang it. Okay, well this next one almost certainly will be, so let's go ahead and use it. Let's go. Now, this is a dangerous situation. This is very precarious. I could very well lose if he decides to use the saw. Which he definitely will, unless it's a blank. And if it is a blank, then he'll use it on himself. Okay. I'm gonna go down to one health here. EA. I I know to be careful, dude. One health. I'm really hoping for something good. Oh wait. Uh. Eject. Okay. Seize it on him, let's go. Slightly evening the playing field. So this game is a lot about just like chance stuff. Oh by the way, important note is you can't stack handcuffs, unfortunately. And this is a very, very dangerous situation. For both of us actually. So this could be good. I'm just going to use it, and I hope it works. Okay. So now there's a higher chance that it is a blank round than a live round, but I'm not willing to lose the run because of bad luck. See, I would have lost the run there. Now, we're even, even though he's going to use a cigarette. Then, it's one in like two, so... I think... If I'm lucky, I can win this. He's gonna take the chance? That's kind of crazy. I'm like, oh, shooting. That's some amazing luck. Unfortunately, now that means that I have to- Oh, wait, no. If you pick up the gun, you can't actually- Put it back down. I should have used the handcuffs. I might lose here. <gasps> that is some of the best luck I've ever had in this game. Now, I think there's only blanks, and by that I mean one blank. And then it's done. Oh? Then... Use it on him. I don't think it's live. But either way, it should just end. Yeah. <sighs> Cigarette and a saw. Saw is not incredibly useful. That magnifying glass. Okay. I was gonna say this magnifying glass is dangerous. But I don't think there's a huge issue here. I'm just gonna use the cigarette. 
then use the handcuffs, and I should be good. I don't think I save items between rounds, so I'm gonna saw it just because I feel like it. And... Yay! That's another round one. Um, we're on to the third and final round. Crossbones and Skull. Whatever happens here, happens. This is it. All right, buddy. I I would usually read the lines aloud, but I feel like I'm gonna take away from the moment. Anyway, this round is a little bit special because we get more items. So we have a whole array, and never mind, we have <laughs> okay two of each of those two. Now you're gonna see those like empty uh, lightning bolts, like the empty charges, that signifies that um, when you get to that point, you can't regain any more at all, and you have zero. It's just a loss if you die, I think. Or it's a loss if you get shot, I think. Uh, let's use this. I think it's always good to save up some room for more items. And let's use it again, actually. Weird strategy, but it could work. Well, that's fine. I'll we'll just take the blank, and then we get new items. Great. Good. Uh, I don't. I don't need more <laughs> saws. I have so many. All right, four of each. So I'm thinking I'm gonna use one beer. And then probably go for a sawed off shot if it is a blank. It's alive. I think I'm gonna use another beer because I wanna use as many items as I can. And it's another live. Okay. I'm gonna take this chance here. Okay. At the very least I know that there's only one live in there and there's four blanks. So chances are he's not gonna do too well. He just had to spam all the items. Okay. At this point, yeah, he's probably gonna want to use some of those. Alright. Now it's a 50-50, I think. So either way, I take two damage. Yeah. Okay. Oh no. That's fine. I think the handcuffs go off because it's the end of a round anyway. Alright, now we're getting some items that I like to see. Magnifying glasses especially. So I'll be using that and try to get an advantage. He doesn't have any items that help him like... He doesn't have a magnifying glass. <laughs> That's it. Live round. I could, I could, I could get the upper hand like really well here. Now here, I think it would be two and two, so it's a fifty percent chance. I'm just going to use the magnifying glass again. Yeah, okay. Then let's get the handsaw. 
bring him down to the blank charges. Am I ready for what? Is it gonna cut? Yeah, but I'm still fine. He's trying to use it, it's not gonna work. <laughs> Stop. It's not gonna work. Okay, now it should be 50 50. Now it's 100% blank. <laughs> Is he just trying to get more items? I don't understand. I mean, I get that it's an AI, and I might not be doing it the, like, the best choices, but this is, in my observation, this seems pretty good. Either way, I don't think there's almost any way I can lose here. In fact, I have a 100% chance of winning if I play my cards right. Because I know that this is a blank, I can just take it. That I use magnifying glass. If it's alive, I use it. And if it's not, then, uh, or if it's a blank, then I use it on myself. Boom. Done. So I guess let's just handsaw. Can I use a handsaw again? No. <laughs> Quadruple damage. Alright. And now, we beat him. And then, I don't know what those two are. They look like eyes to me, but I'm not sure. And now, we get our prize money. Let's go! Congratulations to me. Sorry if that shocked anyone. I forgot that those sound effects were used. So, we fired 19 shots, ejected 42 shells, kicked doors four. What? I guess it's just because I died once. Smoked three cigarettes and drank 2310 milliliters of beer. Isn't that great? So we got $61,875. I don't know what the highest I got was, probably like in the mid 60,000s or something. Um, but anyway, uh, if I press any key to exit, like it says in the bottom left, it just closes the game entirely, I'm pretty sure. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I like this game, it's pretty fun, and if you guys like this video, and it does well, then I could do another video on, like, uh, the other mode. I think it's called Double Down or something, but I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in, like, a week in the next video, which I think is something. It's either supposed to be Spore or Risk of Rain 2. Um... Although, I have been considering uh, ending the Spore series because it's not been doing too well and I've not really been looking forward to making videos for it. Um, and, you know, if I make a video, I want to like really enjoy it and I want to I want it to do well. You know, I want it to perform well on the algorithm <laughs> on YouTube. Um, so... Uh, I might, if Spore's the next thing, I might put up a community post asking what you guys would want me to do in replacement of it. Uh, yeah. Well, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. This was fun for me. And I will see you in a week. Uh, oh, and if you enjoyed, do please like and subscribe. It's just nice. Uh, happy dopamine numbers go up and whatnot. Alright, bye.